What's up, y'all? We got another one. We got another one, Johnny. This one is a little bit different, though. She didn't take advantage of a younger child, just a regular younger child. She took advantage of one that was mentally disabled. Look at this. Now to Scott County, where a former middle school substitute teacher has been arrested, charged with three counts of third degree rape. Police say the victim was one of her students. LEX 18's Lee Searcy has a story. All right, you're Alexandria Allen. Yes. Here's the former Royal Spring Middle School substitute teacher at her arraignment. She's charged with three counts of third degree rape. According to her arrest warrant, Allen came into contact with one of her students, a 15 year old boy, while she was in a position of authority, a position of public trust. In the warrant, police say during a forensic interview, the 15 year old told them he had sex with the 25 year old teacher. I just want her in jail. We talked to his mother last October after she reported to police that she found nude photos and videos of Alan and her son on his cell phone. She said Alan tutored him because he had developmental delays. I was disgusted because you're supposed to be helping him. <laughs> And she wasn't helping him at all. The warrant states the alleged crimes took place over eight months from March to October of last year at three different locations, including a Hilton Inn hotel in Georgetown. In court, Allen's attorney waived formal arraignment and entered a not guilty plea to the rape charges. The judge reduced her bond to $2,500 and ordered Allen to have no contact with the teen. Meanwhile, Georgetown police say their investigation is not over. We are waiting on some more um, search warrants to come back for social media accounts. And it's a possibility more charges may come with what we found. In Scott County, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News. Yo, what's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? Welcome back to Moxie Approved. This your first time here on the channel. You know what I'm gonna ask. Hit that subscribe button. But what's up, Moxie Mob? Y'all know what's going on. Please do me a favor. Watch the whole video and like and comment, man. Tell me, tell me what's going on with y'all today, man. This country going through a lot right now, but hey, what we talking about? What we talking about today, we talking about a 25 year old woman that got caught with a 15 year old eighth grader. Now, this is a story that's becoming way more common than it should in America. And I get it. We men, we supposed to be extra tough. Who cares if an older woman, why we not even fully developed, takes advantage of us and try to get us to have sex with them before our time because we men, we want to do it. Yeah, and I get all that. And there is some truth to it. I do remember when I was 15, 16, that there were some teachers that I did want to smash, but that don't make it right. And these are adults, all right? I was a kid. That was a kid. These are adults. And it's kind of sad because you, you want to depend on the adults to lead the kids. But in America, I'm gonna tell you what, and this is my own personal opinion. In America, the two groups that I think get it the worst from the government is I think it's black people and I think it's kids, hand in hand, all right? And I don't understand, I don't understand why you would wanna do kids wrong. They're our future, literally. You know, I try not to sound like a song and all that, but that's what the case is. But this situation is a little bit different. This situation, this woman really needs to do some time for this, all right? 25 years old, don't look like an ugly chick, all right? Working in the school, finds a 15 year old with mental disabilities. Yeah, we ain't gonna say that R word over here. Mental disabilities, all right? That don't sit well with me. This is a kid that his mind hasn't even developed or functioned yet. And I think personally, I mean, they gave a woman a $2,500 bond. Do you know what that mean? All she got to do is give her two, $250. Pair of Jordans, Jordan 4s that just dropped the other day, $250. Get out of jail. Now, we already know that definitely ain't going to happen for no man. We already know that definitely ain't going to happen for me. I, 
maybe white men that will happen for they they you know you know jeffrey epstein was doing stuff like this for years and they kept it under wraps but black people black man something like that shit if you're a black man and even if someone of that age even because i actually know somebody that works in the new york school department man uh is a teacher a uh, guy that i know and he had problems at school between be a younger I think it was a, a girl like sophomore he's a high school teacher sophomore tried to say it was inappropriate stuff that happened and he fought it and the girl eventually fessed up and said that she made it up but he went through a lot a lot before he got out of that trouble this woman they just asked her for 250 dollars and we gonna let you get out of jail and this is a mentally disabled kid and I'll tell you what I don't see this becoming less of a pattern moving forward. It's only becoming more of a pattern and they keep getting slapped on the wrist. So they're not protecting our kids. They're not. And I hear some of y'all, oh, some of these dudes want it, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but take all that and throw it out the door. This is not only that, this ain't even a grammar school. Kid. This ain't even a high school kid. This is a grammar school kid. This kid hasn't even graduated eighth grade yet. All right. And I you know, I, I predict that this is going to be happening more because uh, women, they're having problem meeting men that they feel is of their caliber. And you know what? I'm not even going to lie, especially uh, that age group. Yeah, I see it myself, that age group, as far as with the men, it's a lot of feminine men in there. And women may not want to deal with that. But the answer ain't to go deal with a, a, a kid that hasn't even developed yet. Get out of here. All right, so when is this gonna stop? None of us know when this is gonna stop. One thing's for sure, it ain't gonna stop till they, till they um, start giving them the same charges they would give a man. That's one way of, of getting this to stop, all right? Other than that, it ain't gonna stop. But this one, this is real foul, because this was a mentally disabled child, but I'm not gonna drag this video out. This is something that we've seen happening, occurring over and over again in America, and it ain't gonna stop until they start giving them them these ladies hard time. She, I think she deserved five years for this. Three to five, three to five. We gonna see what happens, but we already know. She probably won't get, based on her bond, she ain't gonna get that much time. Usually the bond is based off of how much time you looking at, all right? So $2,500, She's not looking at that much time anyway. But hey, we talk about inequalities here. We talk about double standards here. Moxie approved. That's one of the things that we talk about. But y'all Moxie Mob, y'all know how we end our videos over here at Moxie Mob. With that water. See y'all here next time. Man, make sure hit me with a like. If you agree, comment. And if you disagree, comment. But I'll see y'all here next time at Moxie Approved. Mentally disabled kid. Wow. Now come on, you can't tell me that that wasn't a pretty good video. And I be having some pretty good content on here. Do me a favor, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Other than that, check out my other links. I got, yo, I be spitting some moxie on here. I got a lot of good topics that I'm talking about. You'll find something on there that's right up your alley if you check out all the links, all right? Don't forget to subscribe.